welcome po, brothers and sisters. This is the Healing Eucharist Daily Mass. And today is a Friday and we are celebrating an anticipated Mass for the third day of Simbang Gapi. Very, very, very nice po. Thank you so much for being here with us. And of course, as with every Healing Eucharist Mass, we know that you have your intentions. So we feel free to type out your intentions po. Write them down in the comment section so that we will all know who and what you are praying for. And we will all pray together. There's also a link in the description of this Mass, which you can go to. And dito rin po siya, bit.ly slash healing mass intentions. Pumunta po kayo dyan sa link na yan and it will lead you to a page where you could send us your intentions for tomorrow. So kung nice po na ilagay ang inyong mga intentions for tomorrow's Mass, then pumunta po kayo dyan sa link na yan. Of course, kami po sa Healing Eucharist ay nagpapasalamat at nandito po kayo at sa lahat ng inyong suporta, alam po namin na kami ay inyong pinagdadasal upang tuloy-tuloy po ang, ang ating misyon. There are a lot of other ways to support us. If you would like to support us financially, you could send us stars or you could also use our our bank accounts, which you will see later on. Maraming salamat po sa support na ibinibigay ninyo para ipagpatuloy namin ang mission na ito, ang ministry na ito. Today, we are celebrating this Mass and our priest presider is also celebrating his 33rd sacerdotal anniversary. So, tayo po ay masayang-masaya nakasama natin siya ngayong anniversary niya. Our priest presider is Reverend Father Glenn Paul Gomez, SVG. We now begin our celebration. Now consciously connect our own self with our personal God as we say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So welcome po sa ating third anticipated Simbang Gabi here in uh, Healing Eucharist Daily Mass. So we praise and thank God for all the blessings He's giving us. And for us to become worthy to participate in this highest form of prayer, the Holy Mass, we pause for a moment, close our eyes, bow our heads, as we say sorry for all the sins and mistakes that we have committed. We believe that our God is a very loving and forgiving God. And so we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life which is everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to his people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, 
receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. All-powerful God, we are oppressed and weighed down by the ancient yoke of sin. Grant that the birth of your only Son, so long awaited yet always new, may deliver us and set us free. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, indeed the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous shoot to David. As king, he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name they give him, the Lord our justice. Therefore, the days will come, says the Lord, when they shall no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but rather, as the Lord lives, who brought the descendants of the house of Israel up from the land of the north and from all the lands to which I banished them, they shall again live on their own land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment, judgment endow the king, and with your justice, the kings, mm. he shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with, with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does the wondrous deeds, and the blessed forever be his glorious name. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O leader of the house of Israel, giver of the law to Moses on Sinai, come to rescue us with your mighty power. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel for the Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus came about when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention, and behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, 
For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son and named him Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. At uh, andito po tayo, we will have a short review. Pagkasama po tayo kagabi. At uh, Marlo uh, mentioned to me this morning, ako pala ngayon din, ngayon pa rin sa misang ito. <laughs> Kaya ito po ang ating uh, third anticipated Simbang gabi, ito po ang nubina mas, no? paghahanda sa birthday ni Jesus. Siyam, na misa, to be exact, nubina mases. Anong ibig sabihin yon? Kaya paalaala po. Kaya sama-sama tayo, the healing Eucharist, simbang gabi. So kahapon po ay uh, December 16, yan ang second at uh, sinabi natin na ano ang pagkakaiba ng panalangin sa nubina and then nubina mas pa. So just a short review, prayer is giving our attention to God in a two-way spiritual relationship where we talk to God and we listen to Him. So two-way process of uh, communicating. And nubina is an intense spiritual devotion or set a set form of prayer for nine consecutive days in petition for a divine Savior, in the divine favor. Naniniwala po tayo na kapag walang patid, tuloy-tuloy, uh, ipagkakaloob ng Diyos talaga ang ating hinihiling. So no impossible request. Kaya nga kay Mama Mary, sa mga santo, pero yung takapet malo na sinasabi na intercession, St. Jude. Yun. Kaya marami niyang pupunta sa sa St. Jude. No? Uh, ngayon, National Shrine, kapitbahay ng Malacanang. So, Nubina could be uh, compared to pressure cooker. Kaya ang Nubina is a pressure cooker prayer. Sa usok pa lang, no? lalambot na maski anong matigas na karne ang ilagay mo. Sigurado yun, lalambot yan. Amen? So, ano naman yung Holy Mass? Holy Mass is the unbloody sacrifice. Pag sinabing unbloody, walang dugo. Kasi yung first Mass na itong nangyayari naman sa misang ito, ay eh, nagdanak ng dugo. No? Si Jesus, si Jesus. Pero yan ay ibig sabihin to save us. Kaya patuloy na nagsasakripisyo si Jesus upang patuloy ang pag-ibig pagmamahal at upang tayo ay iligtas. Kaya ganun, kapet malu, ang nubina masses, nubina na mas pa, highest form of prayer. At ngayon nga, na itong uh, third uh, simbang gabi anticipated natin, ito naman ang ibanghelyo. At uh, sinabi dito yung the birth of Jesus, ang istari ngayon ay si St. Joseph. So continuation of Matthew chapter 1, this time verses 18 and following. So sino daw si St. Joseph? The poster father of Jesus. He followed God's will. Kinuha niya, she took Mary as his wife. Gusto niya sanang iiwan pero sa panaginip. Kaya gustong gusto ko ito. Eh. First time akong ito, tuwang-tuwa na si St. Joseph ang nag-aalaga kay Jesus. Ano? Nag-aalaga. I just love it. And we know that this year is the year of St. Joseph. Ang tawag na dito ay, ito na, uh, with Father's heart. No? Uh, 
Uh, talagang may Cortis pa yan. Pater Cortis. Read Father's Heart. Siguro kung meron akong gustong uh, ipagdasal sa mga Pilipino male and for all male in the world, mawala yung macho image. Ano yung macho image? Yung mga tatay na may, may asawa na, hahanap pa ng extra Uh, extra curricular activity, di ba? At sino yung macho? Nako, yung umiinom, naglalasin, nagsusugan, tanggap pa rin ng tao, pinapalakpakan pa nga eh, di ba? At sana nga ay uh, yan ang mahilom. At we ask the intercession of St. Joseph sa prayers of the faithful kasama yan. Yan sana ang mahilom, no? the macho image, wrong macho image for men. And who is a real man? A real man has a self-control. Ang tunay na lalaki ay magalang, hindi nagmumura, hindi sinasaktan ng babae. No? This is the ideal man and we go for the ideal and we pray for that. And we ask the intercession of St. Joseph, the foster father of Jesus. Amen? Yeah, no? At ngayon, uh, dahil ngayong araw na ito, December uh, 17, ginawa natin yung 18, gusto kong ipagpatuloy yung genealogy. No? Uh, let's define na uh, ano ba ibig sabihin yun. Genus, the family, no? the origin. Kaya maganda yung origin ni Jesus. Kung tutukusin talagang kingly origin, from Abraham to King David ba naman? So, and then from King David to Babylonian, yun na, captivity. And then from Babylonian captivity, to the Messiah. So, 14 generations, 3 sects. Grabe. Ibig sabihin, kaya nga 14 times 3, 42. Oh, Mr. Faith, ayaw mo bang ma-recall yung lolo mo sa father's side and sa mother's side, father and mother's side, lolo. Oh, can you recall? Oh, Hindi na po. Hindi na po. Hindi na po. Hindi na po. Okay. Kilala mo yung lolo mo. Eh, yung lolo ng lolo mo yun lang. <laughs> anyway, uh, yung tapos yung kay Jesus, talagang royal blood. Uh, pero alam naman natin na Jesus was sent by the Father, yung talagang origin. But you know, sa 42 generations na binasa, not all, not all relative, all, not all relatives of Jesus are okay. Meron din pumapalya. No? Kaya dito pinapakita, bilang tao ha, bilang tao, Uh, siyempre, bilang Diyos, sent by the Father. But bilang anak ni Mary, foster father ni Jesus, no? hindi lahat okay eh. Ano ibig sabihin yon Sa pagdating sa human na uh, relatives, may pumapalya. Pero walang papalya bilang padala at nagmula sa Diyos Ama. Bil mo, yes mo. Yun lang. Ayun ang maganda. Kaya know your roots, baby. Know your roots. Alamin natin kung saan tayo nagmula. At uh, to find the source, that is very important. Kaya, yes, ako tuwang-tuwa nung bata kami, nagbabatid. since uh, nandito ako sa Mindoro, I grew up here. Uh, pero ang parents namin, hindi naman taga Mindoro. Our dad is from Batangas, Kalaka. Our mom is from La Union, Tubaw. Pero it's nice to know our roots, no? Ang sarap yung mamit ko for, for the first time, yung mga first cousins namin, kamag-anak sa Batangas and the Union. But ito ngayon, ang bigyan natin diin, huwag lang yun sa human relationship, human relatives. Di ba, kung tutuusin natin, yung lolo ng lolo ng lolo ng lolo, kung atin daw pupuntiryahin, saan ba tayo talaga nagmula? Di ba, kaya the wonders of God's creation. At anong tinuturo sa atin? Lahat tayo nilikha ng Diyos. God chose human parents for us to be born. Kaya mayroon tayong tatay, nanay, mama, papa, daddy, mommy. No? Pero mayroon pang mas malalim doon. At yun ay saan tayo nagmula? We came from God. At itong, kaya sabi ko, dito ako, dapat dito tayo mag-focus tayong lahat. If all of us will just focus where we came from, hindi tayo magkakaano eh, away, kasi nakikita natin, ay, nagmula pala talaga lahat tayo sa Diyos. 
at gumamit lang ang Diyos ng instrumento para tayo ay mailuwal sa mundo ito. Amen? Feel mo? Gets mo? So, anong mga ibig sabihin yon? Alam niyo po yung DNA, kapag pinag-aralan natin yung ating uh, uh, grabe, the history of humanity, nandiyan lahat yan eh, billions of years na nakarecord na nasa DNA natin. So, pag sinabi natin genealogy, the source, ito ang tumbo. We have divine origin. All of us are truly, we originated from God. Feel mo? Gets mo? E eh kung ganun, ang sarap. Ayun dapat kaya nga yung ang banal ay naging tao upang ang tao ay maging banal. That is the life of Jesus. No? Na gusto niyang um, ipabatid sa ating lahat na ito ang misyon na hindi ka lang tao. Ikaw ay banal. I just love that. So, I am a child of God. You are a child of God. We are the children of God. Kaya, pag meron tayong ganung pananaw, ang sarap makitungo sa tao. We go beyond the color of the skin. We go beyond the culture. We go beyond beliefs. Be it belief in God or with other beliefs. Kaya ito ang paalaala sa atin sa paghahanda sa birthday ni Jesus. Yung anak ng Diyos, origin niya sa Diyos, pumunta sa lupa upang ipa... To remind all of us, isa lang ang ating pinanggalingan, all of us came from God. At ito ngayon ang pangyayari, itong araw na ito, and this today, the Jesus' good news is now four years old and five months. Isa namang pamamaraan ng Diyos para to spread the good news of Jesus every day, every hour, every minute, everywhere at talagang dapat ipa ihasik ang mabuting balita na ang good news, anak ka ng Diyos, anak ako ng Diyos, anak tayong lahat ng Diyos. At birthday na ating Santo Papa na gumagabay sa atin 85 years old, eh, Magsi-60 pa lang po ang inyong abang lingkod. Mas matanda sa akin ito ng 25 years. Ang nakamasigla pa rin. Ako parang gusto, hindi lang parang, gusto ko nang mag-retire at, at 60. Pero what an inspiration. We have Pope Francis. Grabe, busy, nakapagsulat. Ang dami, encyclicals. Amen. Kaya we pray for him. And finally, nasabi nga ni Sister Faith, today, Kita nyo po another uh, mystery, yung 33rd, yung 33, that is already the life of Jesus. His years, the years that he spent here on earth, he died at age 33. E kami, 33 years na sa pagkapare ni Father Pags, director in Dino Price, the King Father Yoyo. No? At itong araw na ito, very uh, memorable din sa amin. Because 20 years ago, As we celebrate my, uh, as before, as we celebrated my priestly anniversary, Daddy passed away. Kaya saya at lungkot at the same time. So mga ating kapatid sa Diyos, sa pananampalataya, ipagpatuloy po natin ang ating uh, pagdiriwang. Tayong lahat ay tunay na anak ng Diyos. Feel mo? Yes mo? Go in, Lord. Close our eyes, bow our heads as we just praise and thank God for sending Jesus in our midst. And in this Novena Mass, we ask the Savior to give us the realization, the enlightenment. Ang banal ay naging tao upang ang tao ay maging banal. Once we realize where we came from, that is so easy to reach our true nature as divine Holy children of God. Amen. And now we verbalize our needs. We pray especially for fathers that following the example of St. Joseph, they may mirror your love. O Heavenly Father, here on earth, trusting solely on your mercy, we pray. Lord, come to save us. May the Pope, 
bishops and the clergy like St. Joseph mirror your fatherly care for the people entrusted to their care as shepherds, we pray. Lord, come to save us. May government officials act like responsible parents in providing for the needs of the people, keeping them in safety and enhancing their development, we pray. Lord, come to save us. Like the sleeping St. Joseph, may fathers turn to you, Father, in moments of difficulties and dream of a bright future for their children, we pray. Lord, come to save us. May fathers find work to support their family and take comfort and strength for the love of their wife and children, we pray. Lord, come to save us. May all fathers and brethren who have gone ahead of us experience the Lord's countenance with the presence of all his saints and angels, we pray. Lord, come to save us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, come to save us. O oh God, you make St. Joseph the guardian of the Redeemer through his intercession, what's over your family, redeemed by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray now, my dear friends, that this our sacrifice in our own personal intentions may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, let the sacrifice to be offered to your name make us acceptable to you that we may share in the immortal life of your Son, who healed our mortal nature by his death. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To whom do you lift up your hearts? We lift them up to the Lord. So let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang to his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity so that he may find us watchful in prayer 
and exalt them in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with their thrones and dominions, and with the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts you pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take these all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which before out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, who is celebrating his birthday today, to Bishop William, our Bishop Administrator, and all the clergy, the religious, your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have preached you throughout the ages, maybe we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Like St. Joseph, let's follow the will of God and know our origin. We have a divine origin. Ipakita natin sa Ama na tantuna natin na tayo ng lahat ay tunay na nagmula sa Kanya all of us are children of God. We now sing the prayer which our Lord Christ himself taught us. Oh 
Lord, we pray from every evil which we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, I leave you peace by peace, I leave you. Lord, look not on our sins, look not on our imperfections, weaknesses, limitations, failures. Look not on our idiosyncrasies, but Lord, look on the faith of your church. Look, Lord, on the faith of the Filipino people. Look, Lord, on the faith of our brothers and sisters participating in this Simbang Gabi here in the Healing Eucharist Daily Mass. And Lord, graciously grant your church peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and never. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. In Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God of God in our hearts, we now share our sweetest smile as the sign of peace to one another. Peace. Peace be with you, Father. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Titigan po natin ang Kristo. Ang nasa taas ay bumaba upang ang nasa baba ay tumaas. Narito siya. Nagpapaalaala. Tayong lahat ay nagmula sa Diyos Ama. Kaya nga bumalik si Jesus upang ihanda ang lugar sa langit at hinihintay natin, yes, ang kanyang birthday, ang kanyang pangalawang pagpabalik. Pero sa mga sandaling ito, tatanggapin natin siya through spiritual communion. Behold, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, our, the Divine Word, Our Emmanuel, God is with us. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called we suffer. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Receive Jesus through a spiritual communion. The body and blood of Christ. Amen. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. So I would like to express my uh, sincerest gratitude to all of you. Maraming maraming salamat po to our commentator, Sister Faith, and to our reader, Sister Janet, uh, behind the scene. Kaya nandyan po uh, uh, si Kuya Marno, nandyan si Anthony, at uh, ang behind the scene no? at nanuno o nakasanan dyan din si Jeff at sa inyo pong lahat uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga panalangi sa inyong mga suporta sa financial help sa mga anonymous na tumutulong din at uh, patuloy natin ngayon ipag 
kasal ang ating mga kapatid na nangangailangan ng uh, paghilog sa katawan, sa ganun din, sa emosyon, sa isip, sa espiritu. Kaya isama natin sila sa ating panalangin. Uh, we ask Jesus the Redeemer. So we just bow our heads and uh, extend our hands towards our brothers and sisters that need healing. So we continually pray for Brother Greg Origines for him to become stronger and healthier. So Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus God, Holy Spirit, we invoke your holy name as we leave up to you our sisters and brothers that need healing. So in this third Simbang Gabi anticipated, Lord, we claim that you will heal your people so that they could be of service to you. We claim for their speedy and holistic healing. Ganon din, hilumin ang mga namumuno sa aming gobyerno, sa aming simpahan. Hilumin ang aming lipunan, ang buong mundo, ang kalikasan. We claim our integral, holistic healing in your name, O Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, Sister Faith, pakibanggit naman ang ating choir. Ang ating choir po, maraming salamat po sa kasama natin sila. Sister Kay, um, Kuya Irwin, uh, Tatay Rodel, and Nanay Chiki. Um, of course, si Bunso Aaron, um, Divine, Karen, uh, Tenten, uh, Ina, uh, Ging, at uh, si Nervi. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat uh, sa pagsama sa amin. So, Uh, nakakatatlong gabi na po tayo, kompleto para mas maraming biyaya. Amen. Let us pray. In this gathering of your church, the living temple of your presence, may we find in your mercy, Lord, and so approach with fitting reverence the coming feast of our redemption from this true Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, will in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. And you who have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gift of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration has just ended, but our mission begins. Begins. Go with Jesus. Go with the Holy Spirit. Go with God the Father. Because God goes with you. Thanks be to God. And we thank you, Father Glenn, for celebrating with us, for allowing us to be with you on your anniversary. God bless you more and more and more. Salamat. Thank you, Sister Faith. Thank you.